Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in the new version of Affinity Designer, showing you how to use simple grids along with the new Shape Builder tool to quickly and easily create intricate shapes. You can download these for free from my Gumroad page. The link is in the description below. These grids are made up of straight lines and basic shapes. The Shape Builder tool picks up the spaces between the lines and lets you select those to combine them or deduct them from each other. Let's get started. Rather than work straight in this document, I'll just select an artboard, copy it and paste it as a new document. Looking at the layer panel, you can see that it's a lot of curves. These are just straight lines with two nodes done with the pen tool. I select all the lines and choose the Shape Builder tool. I can click on elements in between the lines and select the shapes I want to combine. I can then create a new shape from the selected areas. In the layer panel, I still have all my lines and a new curve on top. I can now manipulate this shape as I would any other curve. Give it a fill, add an outline, add FX, go in with the node tool and modify it. Seeing the grid did not get destroyed, I can now select more shapes that I want to add. Do the same thing again, create the new element and it creates the new curve that appears above my grid. So I move it up one layer, add a different blend mode. I can now hide the lines below so the grid disappears and go in with the node tool and make modifications. Here I'll just turn it into triangles and have my simple first design. Let me pick another grid and show you a slightly more complex design. Again, I copy the artboard and paste it as a new document from the clipboard. I select all the elements and then choose the Shape Builder tool. I can now select the shapes I want from this combination of a grid with the circles. Going over an already selected shape, we'll turn it off again so you can unselect easily. You can also zoom while you're creating, which is really helpful when you have tiny details you want to add. Once all the areas are selected, I create the new shape from it and it will create that new curve again on top. I can then go in and modify this shape further. I hide the grid to just see my object and then assign a fill and an effect to it. Let me do another one, this time go with the floral pattern that is made up of the tear shape and a simple grid. For this one, again, I copy the artboard, paste it as a new document and then reduce the grid to just the few straight lines that I need for this design. I select all, use the shape builder tool and then select one segment at a time and create a new shape of each one. I select just those new shapes and hide them and create a secondary shape of the inner part and then hide my grid and color the elements that I've created. I give all these shapes a gradient fill then use the gradient tool and alter those fills to change the shading slightly for each segment. I then add the secondary shape back in, give it a 
plain fill in a dark color and set it to multiply. I can also duplicate those shapes, selecting all the segments and combining them with the boolean add, and then add, for example, a contour. And here you can see where the shape builder had slight issues. The outline of the contour shows that, but most of the time they're real easy to fix, like the inner shapes that I just deleted. The cleaner your grid, the less extra nodes it will create. So when you work with the shape of the tool, spend time on placing your shapes that you want to combine. Let me show you a quick setup of one of those grids. It's a straight line created with the pen tool. It has two nodes and I selected, I want it slightly bigger than this so I just stretch it and then duplicate it, move it and use the power duplicate to create the follow up copies. I select the lot and duplicate it again. In this case I group them first because the group is easier to handle than all those lines. I give it a 45 degree rotation for this pattern. It's easiest to do with the transform panel all while holding shift when you rotate. I ungroup the two sets of lines and select it all. Use the shape builder tool and start creating my pattern by selecting the shapes. You don't even need to ungroup, you can work with the groups and keep the grid as groups of lines and it'll still work just fine. Create your own grids to match your needs or play around with these. I made the set for you to quickly and easily learn, practice and play around with the new shape of the tool. It is a great addition to a finished designer. It is a quick and easy way to create simple graphic design elements for logos, icons, or to combine more complex shapes together as an alternative to the Boolean operation or the compound tool. I really enjoyed playing around with it. I'll definitely spend more time using this tool, exploring it further, and I hope you have the same joy playing with it. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, tick the notification button and leave a comment in the section below. Your feedback is what makes me do these videos and makes it worthwhile. So please let me know what you want to see in this channel or on my website and I will see you again soon.